Today's film newscast is being brought to you by Window Film Magazine and ZBART, your partner for a prosperous future. For franchising information, visit ZBART.com. We're coming to you from day two of WFCT. I'm Casey Flores, welcome to Filmed. Thursday's seminars were sponsored by the International Window Film Association. Dubbed IWFA Education Day, Executive Director Daryl Smith spoke with us earlier on what's going on in architectural glass. 53% of the glazing today in commercial buildings is still single pane. And single pane glass is a prime opportunity and that uh, I think the replacement is less than 6% in 20 years, less than 6% of the building inventory glazing has been replaced. So that means that it's going to be a 53%. You're looking at a huge opportunity over the next, what well, it's gonna take at least 10 more years just to replace that. I think the show's gone, gone great. The audience has been extremely engaged, and I think that's, that's a great sign when the audience is that engaged with the topic. Just to key in on to, um, that you can you know, tap into your, your website that will attract supply chain managers and their agents. Keywords, right. Yes. And tip companies have uh, difficulty breaking into that business to business idea. I'm looking to see if there's any key points right here that they'll be able to provide the, uh, the tenors, and then if we can expand upon that. Um, it's really important to sort of think about what kind of buyers that validate like that. they think they no. Ask for a product, ask for a dollar, ask for a contact, and I think you can walk into a business and secure more of it. So if it's right there, it automatically bounces here. Yeah, I can make this here. For the next year, I come with my group. And as far as you can see, people always so we're here on the show floor where this year we have two first-time exhibitors. Deck Serials, a Japan-based company, offers architectural window film solutions. Let's go check them out. Okay, so we're a new window film manufacturer. Um, we are based in Japan um, and our U.S. headquarters is in near Atlanta um, in the United States. And uh, so our product is Albedo. It's a brand new product. It's special because it's the only film on the market that reflects near-infrared light upwards instead of downwards towards the ground, and it's patented to do so. So we chose the International Window Film Conference in Tintoff after a, few, a year of research, uh, meanwhile, for marketing, and we found this is one of the best shows for both architectural glass as well as automotive, and, and it was sort of a developing market. The other first-time exhibitor is Graffiti Shield. The company's based in Anaheim, California, and offers more than just window solutions. We're going to talk with Michael Shook, CEO, about what they have to offer. Anti-graffiti film uh, was actually one of our biggest products over the years. We've been doing it in a lot of uh, metro areas that are prone to graffiti and glass. And it just kind of came one step after another where we had a lot of requests for what can we do for stainless steel. And uh, when we started digging into it, it's, we really realized that the stainless steel was damaged and the only solution we could come up with would be to install a clear anti-graffiti film over that. And uh, long and the short of it, it really wasn't a good fit. We really had no idea how we were going to repair stainless at any high volume. So we, we created uh, about three years ago what we call Metal Shield, which is a stainless steel film that you overlay on stainless. And what better area than to get into a convention of window film guys and um, kind of debut the products. Well, that's it for this episode of Film. We've got one more day of tin-off coverage to bring you. So stay tuned to windowfilmmag.com, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook for all the latest show updates. Thanks for watching.